Spider silk has long been the holy grail of material innovation. It's strong, it's biodegradable, and it can be used in everything from cosmetics to clothes. Many people have attempted to grow the material in labs, but only a few companies have succeeded. Nestled in the outskirts of Munich lies one of them, Amsilk, which has raised more than $30 million in funding. So Amsilk um, has been lucky uh, to be in a, one of the first ones worldwide to produce it. Today, we're out of the labs. We're producing it on, on a, on a multi-ton scale and selling this into different angles from the cosmetic side to the medtech side to the fiber textile side. Our material is produced via biotechnological means. So we're producing in huge stainless steel vessels. There are no animals involved, so the material is completely vegan. It's made completely of proteins. In the beginning, we were working with a new material, so we, we could not look up in the literature how it's done, so we had to develop everything on our own. Currently, Amsilk's lab-grown spider silk is being used in three industries, cosmetics, medtech, and textiles. While a core of its business is cosmetics, it inked a deal last year to create a new spider silk-based material with Airbus that could be used in a high-performance plane. What we want to do is we want to introduce our new material into existing technologies, into existing industry, to make existing products better. In the last decades, we had very great material innovations, but mostly focused on fossil fuel-based materials. We see that these properties or these materials stay on Earth for, for decades and, and even longer. So our products are, of course, completely biodegradable. But that doesn't mean that they just biodegrade as soon as you go to the outside. But on the other hand, it can be used in everyday life. It's very durable. It can withstand, of course, humidity, temperature, sun. This is not a problem. But as soon as you put it in your waist, it biodegrades over a certain time period and then it's completely gone. Amsilk doesn't have a consumer business. Instead, it's developed a B2B model where it sells its silk gels, sprays, and other materials to other companies that can incorporate them into their products. But this is a slow process. It can take years for a partner to adapt the silk technology. Well, we handle a lot on the cosmetics um, side. They're typically quite fast time to market, can be between one and two years from first pitch to product in the market. On the other hand, there is uh, lots of large corporations like you know, Adidas, and with those companies, it takes longer because they have lots of internal requirements um, which they have to go through. So you talk about from first pitch to product in the market, around about four to six years. It is very important for our partners or for the success of new inventions that partners don't have to change anything in the way how, how they produce. Otherwise, you can have the greatest invention and it's not gonna, and it's not gonna go through. So I think it's, it's very important not to think about the next five to 10 years, but also think about your kids, how they will emerge or how they will live in a world in 50, 60, 70 years. And we have to think about what we can do, what we can make better on the product side, on the material side, but also on the same page don't exploit our planet much more than we already have.